Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and install your My D-Link Baby Cam. Now in this example I'm going to be using the DCS-825L. However, if you have a different camera like the DCS-820, 800, or 855L, the setup steps are identical. Now in this example I'm also going to be installing it using an Android phone. However, if you have an iPhone or an iPad, the setup steps will be identical. Now to first install the camera, the first thing you need to do is download the My D-Link Baby Camera app from the App Store. So I'm going to go into the Play Store here on my Android phone. Again, if you have an iPhone or an iPad, you'd want to go into the App Store and just do a search for My D-Link Baby. Now once you've done that, it should bring up the My D-Link Baby Camera app. Now in this example, I already have it installed on my phone. If you don't, you want to go ahead and install it and then run it. Now when you run the app, it's going to bring you to the Setup Wizard main page. And because we're going to be setting this camera up for the first time, we're going to click on the Setup New Camera link. And from there, the Setup Wizard will start. Now the first thing you want to do to install your camera is power it on. So it's going to ask you to plug in the power and then you click Next. From there, you want to look at the bottom light on the camera. When you first plug it in, that light will turn red. After a few moments and it boots up, that light should turn green. Once it's green, go ahead and click Next. Now in this step, it may be a little bit different on the iPhone or an iPad. With an Android, it will automatically find the wireless network for your baby camera. However, on an iPhone or iPad, it will not do this. If you're using an iPhone or iPad, you just want to make sure you follow the steps. However, what you will need to do is you'll need to scan for Wi-Fi networks. You'll see a, a network name similar to this, and you want to connect to it, and then come back into the app to continue. However, with an Android, we don't have to do that step. We're able to just select the My Dealing Baby Camera wireless network right here. And from there, it will ask you to enter in your Wi-Fi password for that camera. Now, the Wi-Fi password can be found on the bottom of the camera. So you just want to look at the very bottom of it and enter in the Wi-Fi password. Now, please note that the Wi-Fi password that's written underneath is case sensitive. So if, if there's any lowercase letters, uppercase letters, you want to make sure you follow it exactly. Now, once you've entered in the Wi-Fi password or you've connected to the wireless network, click on OK. And assuming you've entered in and you've connected to the Wi-Fi network, it will bring you to the next step here where you get to name your camera and put a new password for the camera. So here the default camera name will be the model number of the camera. So I'm going to be changing this. Again, you can name it anything that you like. Now one thing to note is you cannot have any spaces or symbols in the name. It has to be just a plain text, again, with no spaces. So you'd want to give it a name and then you also want to set a password for it. So again, the password could be whatever you like. This is just to prevent anyone from outside or inside your network from accessing the camera without your knowledge. So you want to enter in your password and you want to do that twice. Once you've entered in a new name, set up a password, you just want to click Next. And from there it will save your settings. Okay, now the next step here is to select the wireless network that you want your camera to connect to. So here you just want to select your home wireless network from the list. And from there you also want to enter in your Wi-Fi password if you have one set. Once you've done that, click Done, and you're going to click on the Connect button. Now at this point your camera should be trying to connect to your home wireless network. Okay, so now the camera has successfully connected and you notice there my phone reconnected back to my home Wi-Fi. It now brings you to the My D-Link registration page for your camera. From there you want to go ahead and enter your My D-Link account information if you have one. Otherwise you can go ahead and create a new account. This is important if you want to be able to access your camera from outside of your network. So from work or if you're on vacation or whatnot, anytime you're outside of the house, if you want to be able to access your camera, you need to make sure you create a new account or register your existing account. So here I'm going to just register to an existing account. So you want to enter in the email address. 
for your account and your password for your account. From there, I'm going to click done and hit next. At this point now, it's going to be registering your MyDealing baby camera to the MyDealing account. Once it's done that, the setup is now complete. You can click finish. From there, it's just going to bring you to a page where it's going to show you about what some of the buttons here do. You can just tap to get rid of those. And from there, I can now click on the camera to view it. Now, another important thing is if you do notice that your image may be a little bit blurry, around the perimeter of the lens is a focus ring. You just want to turn that until your image is in focus. And then from there, your camera is set up and you should be able to see the live view. Now, the last thing I want to just show you is when to access it remotely over when to access it when you're at home. Now, if we just go back a step to the main window here, you'll notice here that there's a little house icon. Okay, this little selector switch is how you would select if you're going to be accessing it when you're at home or if you're remote. So if you're going to be outside of the house, maybe at work, again on vacation, you'd want to select this option to log into your MyDealink account. Once you've logged in, you'll be able to again see your camera. You would just select your camera in order to view the live image. At this point now, you're viewing it over the internet. And the alternative is if, again, if you're at home, you don't need to do it that way. You can access it locally just over your home Wi-Fi. For more helpful videos, please check out support.dlink.ca.